breaking. Welcome to today's headline. Northern cattle traders blast IPOB over threat to boycott beef. Northern cattle traders blast IPOB over threat to boycott beef. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Northern cattle sellers have called the bluff of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, for calling for the boycott of beef from Fulani others. The amalgamation of the northern traders in cattle, grains, and vegetables said it was a mere propaganda, saying it was not the first time IPOB would make such a call. Besides, the association announced plans by its members to cease the supplying its items to southeastern market. Chairman of Northern Traders, Muhammad Tahir, in an interview with Sahara reporters, said members of the union were not perturbed by the IPOB ban. According to him, IPOB lacks the capacity to sustain the ban as their people would soon revolt due to scarcity of beef and other foodstuffs, which only the North can supply. He said, For us, we would always support the indivisibility of Nigeria, but if IPOB wants to secede, then so be it. Bilateral trade between us and them is all about wealth creation for the two regions. The cattle we take to them is food and not poison. Therefore, if someone rejects your benevolent supply of food to their region, then you stop because you must not feed them. After all, it is a mere unsustainable propaganda, which we have been hearing over the years. Recall that January 3, IPOB in a statement released banned the slaughtering and eating of cows from Fulani others during occasions in the southeast region. The secessionist group also announced the ban on singing of the Nigerian national anthem in schools and on eating beef during occasions in the region. The group said these are some of its seven action plans to implement in 2022. Northern cattle sellers have called the bluff of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, for calling for the boycott of beef from Fulani others. The amalgamation of the northern traders in the cattle, grains, and vegetables said it was a mere propaganda, saying it was not the first time IPOB would make such a call. Besides, the association announced plans by its members to cease the supplying its items to South Eastern Market. Chairman of Northern Traders, Muhammad Tairu, in an interview with Sahara reporters, said members of the union were not perturbed by the IPOP ban. According to him, IPOB lacks the capacity to sustain the ban as their people would soon revolt due to scarcity of beef and other foodstuff which only the North can supply. He said, for us, we would always support the indivisibility of Nigeria, but if IPOB wants to secede, then so be it. Bilateral trade between us and them 
is all about wealth creation for the two regions. The cattle we take, we take to them is food and not poison. Therefore, if someone rejects your benevolent supply of food to their region, then you stop, because you must not feed them. After all, it is a mere unsustainable propaganda which we have been hearing over the years. Recall that on January 3, IPOB in a statement released banned the slaughtering and eating of cows from Fulani Adas during occasions in the southeast region. The secessionist group also announced the ban on singing of Nigerian national anthem in schools and on eating beef during occasions in the region. The group said these are some of its seven action plans to implement in 2022. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Let's move down to the comment section and let's see what people are saying. Another a comment which I have here says, Yes, we will do it. Just open up and beg them not to go because of the hunger that will strike you all if Biafra go. I know oh yeah. Um, let me just address this to my dear listeners. We all know we are there is responsibility. All regions have this responsibility, and we cannot live without other regions. Let's talk about electronics and all that. We know I also have people too uh, but these Igbo people, I think they are more they, they are more they are more they are an expert in this electronic and all this. And let's talk about the cows and all these things. We cannot live without without other regions. Only what they need is just to come and to negotiate communication. That's one of the major problems Nigeria is having in this country. When you the act of you can't negotiate. So how do you expect the country to move forward? To so my dear listeners, how long do we need to continue and do this and watch our government doing this to us? Anyway, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let's know what your view is all about. Thank you.